Victoria and welcome to the Social Work Book Club here at UCLan Library. This is the first of a national project which is part funded by the Higher Education Academy. Let's go take a look. This is the first of the national project that's part funded by UCLan Social Work and the Higher Education Academy um, to take Book Club forward um, nationally. Um, there are six universities interacting, you'll see from the Twitter fall here this evening. We have got, um, across the, nation, the four nations of the UK, we've got Queen's University in Belfast, we have got Lancaster ourselves here in UCLan, uh, Northampton, where else have we got? Let me remind me, Cardiff. But, and Glasgow and yeah Bradford seemed to have come on board and I didn't really know they are so I'm delighted about that and we've got some people in their kitchens in um, <laughs> so I'm not sure where somewhere there's a, a <laughs> but they are talking about it ever so this is kind of a bit like book club proms you know like we're not at a park but we've got some beautiful trees there and it's all kind of going on so because we're going to be live streamed isn't it at the same time so it's really exciting. I'm very excited to have Nikki, our Professor Stanley from the School of Social Work here, taking this forward and launching the start of the national project. That's very, very exciting because we've had professors from different universities. So we'll have Nikki from our own school is really, really important for us. Um, and Nikki's background is around child welfare, domestic violence, child protection, you know, young people's mental health. And it was Nikki herself who recommended this book. Um, and there's been lots of different thoughts about that, really, in terms of getting into the book and people struggling with it and all sorts of things, which I think is, when I spoke to Nikki a few times in the corridor, quite fascinated her about that. And, and I think that'll unfold as she uh, unpicks, really, the text for us and sets it down so we can kind of proceed from there. The way it's going to work with these six universities across the UK is that we've got a guest tweet. A tweet is a, a person who tweets. Um, you could be offensive and call them twits, but we're, we're afraid to do that, so we're going to call them student tweets. Um, Leanne McGovern's with us, and Leanne was involved before with the club as a, a student tweet, but is now a newly qualified social worker. Leanne has volunteered to train all the tweets across the UK in terms of them feeding this Twitter fall that's going on here in front of us. Again, it's some way for us to record. This is a, it's a teaching and learning aid from a, um, the HEA point of view. So this will record and report on this and it will allow us to be as interactive as we can across the, the UK with the other schools of social work. Um, so they will be feeding this as we go through and they'll also then, I'm hoping that Leanne will pull the main themes together and we'll see as we, we, uh, the conversation unfolds. We'll never know how the, the conversation is going to go and that's a part of the kind of the creativity I think about book club because it just allows it then to, to kind of go anywhere it wants to go. But we will be looking at sort of knowledge, values and skills, thinking about methods of intervention, the knowledge that might inform our practice if we were to have to interact um, in a case like this, for instance. So really that's it from my point of view. Nikki, it's over for you. Thank you very much for coming and taking your time on an evening to spend time with us at Book Club. We're absolutely delighted to have you here. And I can hand over to you and the rest of the Book Club. Great. Um, well, thank you very much for inviting me, Amanda. It's great to be here on uh, this sort of first evening when uh, we're uh, broadcasting across the country. <laughs> um, I, think, I think this is a great book. Um, I really enjoyed it myself, and I'm, I'm really hoping that it's going to stimulate a sort of a, a lively and exciting discussion. Um, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out some of the key themes um, that I thought it would be worth talking about. I'm sure as we discuss um, and debate, other themes will be thrown <laughs> up. But I'm going to identify a few key themes and talk a little bit about each of them. And then I'm going to stop and go back to theme number one and talk about it a bit more. And then I'm going to invite you all to join in um, because I don't want to talk myself for hours and hours. Um, I'd, I'd like you to feel you can all contribute and uh, uh, butt in whenever, whenever you feel like it, really. Um, so, 
why have I chosen Room by Emma Donoghue? Well, first of all, because it's a great read. Um, I, I think that the child's voice, the narrator's voice, is really striking and authentic, um, and it engages the reader with its immediacy and vividness. Um, it's also a very tense book in places. It's a book with pace and action. Um, I think the scene where Jack is driving around with the police officers mm. with Officer O, um, and you know that his mother's life is in danger, um, is enormously exciting and tense for the reader. So, I mean, you know, as well as contrasting the images of the mother and child's perspective, this is a book about inside and outside. And I mean, what's the ultimate image for that? Of course, you know, it's the womb. And I mean, in a sense, you know, the book is about the movement out of the womb, and I don't want to labour this, um, but it, you know, it, I think this is partly why. Right. <laughs> 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 <It's rather good. laughs> this is partly why I think the book has such resonance because it's such a sort of a primal journey which yeah. has been described. Mm -hmm. It's the journey, you know, the first journey we all make. Mm -hmm. mm. is, is, is that okay or is that pushing it too far? No, no. 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 <laughs> I just, Daniel Robertson is in Glasgow is saying that, um, just back on the point you were making, Nikki, about this, you know, move, and talking about moving on, um, and the differences in how parents and, and children, or the mother and the child, see their lives. He's saying that leaving behind grubby little things can be seen as of little importance, but may mean little to workers, but not to the child, and he's, he's, he's thinking about the tooth in that yeah. respect. Yeah. Um, and um, Hannah Morgan, who's in Lancaster, is saying that Jack's telling of his story reminds us of the importance of life stories and narratives. Absolutely. And how, you know, just thinking about the implications for practice here is how can we understand where someone is without that? And very often, when we're working with children and young people, we haven't, we, there are gaps in their lives, aren't there, for this journey? So you get to it as well, particularly That's, children, yeah. and communication skills you need yeah. to get to a story. Yes. Yeah. Well, and, and I guess the complexity of a, one experience that, it, you know, I mean, just coming back to kind of domestic violence mm -hmm. and, and you can look at it from a social work perspective as the perpetrator of violence and, and that's his role, or her role, if that were pertinent. But from a child's perspective, that person also encompasses other things. The father mm -hmm. has had, you know, they see it in different, in different ways yeah. and to view, to, to see that complexity. And, and room is very much that, yeah. you know, it's both safe and threatening and oppressive and, <laughs> and creative and all of these things bound up in one. But interesting about the father and about, you know, as time goes on for Jack, you know, how he will ask these questions, yeah. you know, about this father. And it led me to think about this man as well, about, you know, what had led him to behave in this way, mm -hmm. what was going on that he would behave in this way. I, I listened to that guy Castro this morning and he was trying to explain he has this addiction and all these different things. And I was trying to think about, you know, if I were the worker in this case and I were assigned to work with you know, the father, um, the, the perpetrator, whatever you want to call this person, where would you start, you know, when you had the rest of this context to work within, mm -hmm. but you have to start, yeah. because you don't sign up to work with one person or another, yep. you sign up to work with everyone. What do you think of book club as a concept? Well, I, I think it's a great concept, um, and I'm very supportive of it. What I really like about it, it's a... Uh, um, pan-university interdisciplinary concept. Um, it's bringing together um, uh, the study of literature, critical reading, um, with social work, which is an applied subject, um, and with um, students like you who are studying journalism and media also involved. And I really like that. Um, what teaching and learning benefits are there and how are they transferred into practice? I think that um, uh, talking about social work students, because they're the group I know best, I think that um, a book group allows social workers to explore some of the um, key issues and concepts that they deal with um, as part of their learning anyway, as part of their programme, but in a different sort of way. And reading fiction 
in a way allows you to explore those issues much more immediately through your own emotional response. And I, I think that's a very useful approach, um, both in social work and in life. What do you think about Book Club becoming a national project? Well, again, again I think that's great. Um, I, I think it's marvellous that we're going to be bringing people in from across the country. This is the first time we've tried it. I'll be very interested to see how interactive that's going to be um, and how much of a sense we all have of other people in the room, um, even though they're in other parts of the country. I thought she was an outstanding parent. Yeah. And I just actually at points felt yeah. quite jealous that she was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> behind closed she doors so incredibly contained. Down by her own mother at times. Well, then, and then that's the bit I was going to say yeah. is that actually when I got to grandma, by the time yeah. that I thought, gosh, she must have been yeah. her own parent, her yeah. own parenting yeah. must have been fantastic. Mm -hmm. And I got to grandma, and I was uh, so disappointed yeah. in this I woman. Like <laughs> and and old Skipper really kind of. Yeah. Rises to the yes. front and is just yeah. this wonderful character, yeah. and Grandma is really disappointing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I first read this book um, with my. I'm, I'm a great book group member, and I first read this um, book with my book group. And when we met, uh, we moved around other people's houses for our book group, and when we had the meeting where we discussed it, um, we met at. Um, we, we sat in the sort of outdoor shed of the house of the person who was hosting it. And um, the person who was hosting it reckoned that the room was actually pretty much the same size as the room in the book. And uh, it, was, it was quite, quite interesting. Can you explain who you are and how you're involved today? Yeah, I'm Leon McGovern. I'm a newly qualified social worker. I became involved in book club during the last discussion, I connected with Amanda Taylor on Twitter and she asked me to be a, a guest week for the discussion of why be happy when you can be normal. So I've I remained involved from then and I've taken on the role to mentoring this year's guest weeks from all six universities. Um, why do you value book club and choose to stay involved? I feel book club has brought a lot to my, my own learning both as a student and now as a, a newly qualified practitioner. I think it's a great way to, to link theory to, to practice when you're reading fiction and um, I've chose to remain involved because it's enhanced my, um, my professional um, development really. Um, I've made lots of connections on Twitter and through, through book club and it's brought me many more opportunities and I'm hoping to remain involved on, on a long term basis. Uh, why have you attended book club this evening? I'm writing an article covering the book club for the student newspaper, the Pluto, and also I'm a social policy student, so it's relevant to my course. What do you think of book club as a concept? I didn't quite realise how big it was. I thought it was a group of students who met with their lecturer. And now that I'm here, it's um, I can see that it's a full school thing, which is extremely useful, especially since they interact with other universities and other social work departments.